Well, hello there. Welcome to WIC. My name is Gregorio, and I will be guiding you through this video. This video will help provide information about the services WIC offers and a few important things about participating with WIC. So let's get started. Your WIC staff should provide you with a small packet of pamphlets. The next videos will reference these three pamphlets here. The first one is the Welcome to WIC pamphlet. Second is your WIC foods. And lastly is the WIC shopping guide. If you did not receive these pamphlets yet, please let any available WIC staff know. They will be very happy to help you. Now let's begin by watching a short video about WIC and the WIC foods you will receive. Welcome to WIC. WIC is California's special supplemental nutrition program for women, infants, and children. <laughs> WIC serves pregnant women, women who have recently been pregnant, babies, and children up to their fifth birthday. Moms, dads, grandparents, foster parents, other caregivers, and guardians may apply for the children they are raising. Many working families are surprised to learn that they qualify for WIC, including military and migrant workers. WIC provides benefits for a variety of nutritious foods. Let's look at some of the ways that WIC can support you and your family to be healthy and active. WIC provides nutrition education, support for breastfeeding, and referrals to other programs. WIC offers individual and group nutrition sessions with many locations offering online nutrition classes. WIC services include nutrition classes tailored to your needs, such as healthy eating and active living, first foods for baby, and tips on getting your toddler to try new foods. WIC encourages and supports breastfeeding because we want you and your baby to be as healthy as possible. You can learn about breastfeeding, have your questions answered, and get support in person and by phone. Moms who breastfeed get extra WIC foods and may receive benefits until your baby's first birthday. WIC is here to support your personal breastfeeding goals. If you choose to formula feed your baby, WIC can show you how to safely prepare and feed your baby. WIC also provides referrals to other programs or services such as CalFresh and local food banks, immunizations, health care, community clinics, preschool, public health nursing, treatment programs for drug, alcohol or tobacco use, and programs for prevention of family violence. WIC has done more for me in the first five years of my parenting journey than I could ever express. From helping me breastfeed to wiping my tears during my miscarriage, to filling my cupboards with food during the rough times. The women who work for WIC became my moms when my mom moved away. Thank you, WIC, for setting me up for success as a mom. It takes a village to raise a mother. To receive WIC services in California, you are required to provide certain information including identification for each person enrolling, proof of family's income, proof of residential address, proof of pregnancy from your doctor, and presence of the baby or child you are enrolling. WIC will also need the results of routine anemia screenings from your doctor for children and pregnant and postpartum women. Some WIC offices may be able to do the anemia screening test on site if you cannot get it from your doctor. You will still receive benefits even if you are not able to bring in your anemia screening results. While you are receiving WIC benefits, you will need to let WIC staff know if any information that you gave us changes. If your income increases, you may still qualify for WIC. WIC also offers a mobile website that you and your family can access any time of day. The website is m.wic dot ca dot gov or just search for WIC mobile in your browser. 
The WIC mobile website provides an easy way to access WIC information from a smartphone. It includes much of the information covered in this orientation, along with a search feature to locate WIC sites, authorized grocers, your next WIC appointment, and the WIC authorized food list shopping guide, which can be handy when shopping for your WIC foods. WIC has offices all over the country and on military bases throughout the world. Are you planning to move to a new location? If so, WIC staff can provide transfer information and put you in touch with the closest office. Just remember, you can only get benefits from one WIC office at a time. Some foods you can buy with your WIC benefits are fruits and vegetables, milk, yogurt and cheese, eggs, fruit and vegetable juices, cereal, dry beans, peas and lentils, peanut butter, canned fish, 100% whole wheat bread or other whole grains, including corn or whole wheat tortillas, whole wheat pasta, brown rice, oatmeal, barley or bulgur, baby food and formula. Only a WIC authorized store can accept WIC benefits. Look for stores displaying the WIC logo or WIC poster to identify ones that accept WIC benefits. You can also use your smartphone to find WIC authorized stores. Additionally, some certified farmers markets are also authorized to accept your WIC benefits for fresh fruits and vegetables only. Look for the WIC logo at these farmers markets or ask for a list from your WIC staff. Let's go through some of the different foods listed in your shopping guide. Milk. You can buy any brand in one gallon containers. 1% low fat and non fat milk are the choices for women and children age 2 and older. Whole milk is provided only for one year olds. If you are allergic to milk or don't drink milk, be sure to talk with your WIC staff about the other choices that you see in the WIC shopping guide. Cheese. You can buy cheese in 16 ounce packages in blocks or rounds. You also can buy individually wrapped mozzarella string cheese in a 16 ounce package. You cannot buy any other forms of cheese such as sliced or shredded. Be sure to refer to your shopping guide for types of cheeses you can buy. Eggs. You can buy any brand of large white chicken eggs in dozen size cartons. You cannot buy any other eggs. Yogurt. Your WIC benefits will tell you the fat level of cow's milk yogurt you can buy and the container size, 32 ounces, which is one quart. The shopping guide shows the brands and the flavors, plain, vanilla and strawberry, and fat levels that you can buy. Whole grains. The shopping guide shows all the different whole grain foods you can buy with your WIC benefits. You can buy 100% whole wheat bread or 100% whole wheat rolls in 16 ounce packages only. Not all brown bread is 100% whole wheat, so be sure to look at the label on the front panel for the words 100% whole wheat. Other whole grain foods you can buy in 16 ounce packages are brown rice, oatmeal, whole grain barley, and bulgur. You also can buy soft corn tortillas, whole wheat tortillas, and whole wheat pastas in 16 ounce packages. For these foods, there are specific brands you can buy. Look at the WIC shopping guide to see which brands are allowed. Breakfast cereals. You can buy up to 36 ounces of hot and cold cereal. And the shopping guide lists all the specific brands, flavors, and sizes of cereals you can buy with your WIC benefits. Cereals come in many different container sizes, and you can buy containers in any combination of sizes from 12 ounces up to 36 ounces. The shopping guide has a useful chart that shows the ways you can combine boxes of cereal to equal 36 ounces. Many of the cereals are high in folic acid and fiber and lower in added sugar. Remember, you cannot buy any other brand, type, size, or flavor of cereal. Refer to your shopping guide for more information. Peanut butter. You can buy peanut butter in 16 to 18 ounce containers in plain, regular, low sodium or low sugar and in any texture such as creamy or crunchy. 
dry beans, peas, or lentils. You can buy any brand or variety of plain dry beans, peas, or lentils in 16 ounce packages. Juice. You can buy fruit or vegetable juices in authorized flavors and flavor blends. Ready to drink bottled 64 ounce containers or 11.5 ounce, 12 ounce, or 16 ounce concentrate frozen or non-frozen containers. Look at the front label of the container for the words that say 100% juice and at least 80% vitamin C. Orange juice and white grapefruit juice are naturally high in vitamin C, so these will not say 80% vitamin C. See the Wix shopping guide for the flavors you can buy. If you have questions while you are at the store, be sure to ask an employee or the store manager. Fruits and Vegetables The Fruits and Vegetables benefit is the only cash value benefit. This means you can buy fruits and vegetables up to the dollar amount indicated in your benefits. You can choose the fruits and vegetables you want from a variety of fresh, frozen, and canned items. You can choose dried fruits. Organic fruits and vegetables are also allowed. You cannot buy any fruits and vegetables with added sugars, oils, or sauces. Look at your shopping guide for the fruits and vegetables you can and cannot buy. For the best price, buy fresh fruits and vegetables in season. Remember to take advantage of buy one, get one free offers, coupons, and sale prices. If your fruits and vegetables cost more than the dollar amount indicated in your benefits, you can pay the extra amount with your own money or your EBT card. You also can put an item back. If you spend less than the dollar value, you will not get any cash back. You can use your fruits and vegetables benefits at authorized farmer's markets that display the WIC logo. Ask your WIC staff for the nearby farmer's markets authorized to accept your fruits and vegetables benefits. Whoa, that was a lot of information. But don't worry, we are here to help. If you have any questions about WIC, please ask any of your WIC staff. One important thing to remember is that the fruit and vegetable benefit you receive is the only item with a dollar amount. So in the next video, we will show you the different foods infants and mothers receive. Foods for infants and moms who breastfeed. Women who breastfeed get extra benefits from WIC, including support in person, by phone, and through our website. Moms who choose to fully breastfeed their baby and not give their baby any formula will get more milk, cheese, and eggs, more cash value benefits for fruits and vegetables, plus food items such as canned fish. Moms who breastfeed may also stay on the program until their baby's first birthday. WIC does not routinely provide formula to breastfed babies in their first 30 days after birth without an assessment of how breastfeeding is going. After the breastfeeding assessment, if your baby needs formula, you will be given enough to meet your baby's nutritional needs. WIC always provides formula for moms who choose not to breastfeed or who cannot breastfeed. The formula amounts provided will vary based on your baby's age. WIC generally provides all the formula your baby will need, but individual babies may need more for specific reasons. Canned fish. Fully breastfeeding moms get canned fish and can choose chunk light tuna, mackerel, pink salmon, or sardines. These come in cans, ranging in size from 5 ounces to 15 ounces. The WIC shopping guide gives tips on how to buy the full amount of fish that WIC provides. Infant foods. Beginning at 6 months of age, all infants get infant cereal with iron and infant fruits and vegetables. Babies who are fully breastfed get more infant fruits and vegetables than non-breastfed babies, and they also get infant meats.
you can buy any of the infant cereal brands and varieties listed in your WIC shopping guide in 8 and 16 ounce containers. You can buy infant fruits and vegetables in 4 ounce containers. You can buy any single fruit or fruit mixture, such as apple blueberry or single vegetable or vegetable mixture, like carrots and peas, or any combination of a plain fruit and plain vegetable. Multi-packs are also allowed. Refer to your shopping guide for the foods you cannot buy, such as pouches and squeeze containers, and fruit or vegetable mixtures that include such things as rice, meat, pasta, or cereal. You also cannot buy baby desserts, dinners, or foods with added sugar, salt, or starch. Infant meats. Fully breastfed babies get infant meats starting at six months of age. You can buy the brands of infant meats listed in your WIC shopping guide in 2.5 ounce containers. When your baby is nine months of age, you have the option to receive cash value benefits for fresh fruits and vegetables in place of some of your containers of infant fruits and vegetables. You may only buy fresh fruits and vegetables with this cash value benefit. As you saw in that video, mothers who choose to breastfeed are eligible for additional foods. You can always talk to your WIC staff about how you plan to feed your baby, because many of our WIC staff are certified lactation educators, and some of our offices have lactation consultants. So this means you have easy access to breastfeeding support, and all of our WIC staff are here to help you answer infant feeding questions you might have. Now, let's learn about the California WIC card. Your California WIC card. You will receive a California WIC card to shop for your WIC foods. Every one to three months, you will visit your WIC office. At your WIC appointment, you will receive your WIC food benefits and attend a group class or get one-on-one -on -one nutrition education. Always bring your WIC card and identification to your WIC appointments. Your family's WIC food benefits will be together on one WIC card. It is important to remember that this is a reusable card. Never throw your card away. Keep your WIC card safe. You will need it for your WIC appointments and to shop for your WIC foods. When you get your WIC card, you will be asked to choose a personal identification number or PIN. A PIN is a private four-digit number. It is best to choose a PIN that is easy for you to remember and hard for others to guess. You will use your PIN with your WIC card every time you shop. Make sure to keep your PIN safe and do not write your PIN on your card. If someone gets your WIC card and knows your PIN, they could get your WIC foods. Sometimes you may need to ask someone to shop for you. Be sure you trust that person to keep your PIN safe. Before shopping with your California WIC card, you can use your WIC card only at stores authorized to accept California WIC benefits. There are many ways to find a WIC authorized store. You can use the free WIC phone app on your smartphone. You can go online to the website, myfamily.wic.ca.gov. You can ask your WIC office for a list of authorized stores in your area or you can look for the WIC logo near the front door or window of the store. Before going to the store, it is important to know your WIC food balance. Your food balance is the foods and the amounts available to your family between specific dates. Be sure to shop for all the foods in your WIC food balance within the allowed dates. There are many ways to find your WIC food balance. You can use the free WIC phone app on your smartphone. You can get a printout at your WIC office. You can look at your store receipt from your last shopping trip. You can ask the cashier or customer service desk at the store to print your WIC food balance. You can call the toll-free number on the back of your WIC card, 1-844-4-MY-FAMILY. Or you can go online to myfamily.wic .ca.gov
using your California WIC card at the store. With your WIC card, you can get just what you need at each shopping trip. To find WIC authorized foods, you can use your WIC shopping guide or the free WIC phone app on your smartphone. You can use the phone app to scan the package barcode to see if items are WIC authorized. The app will also tell you if the food is in your WIC food balance. At the store, separate your WIC foods from your non-WIC items as you shop. Keeping your WIC foods separate will make checking out easier. Tell the cashier you are using your WIC card. There are slightly different store checkout systems for WIC. Follow the instructions from the cashier at your store. Some stores may have to scan your WIC foods first. The cashier will let you know when to swipe your card and enter your PIN. With either store system, always use your WIC card first before using other forms of payment. Pay close attention as the cashier scans each WIC food. Some stores will ask you to approve your WIC purchases before your sale is totaled. The cashier will give you a receipt showing your WIC food purchases. If everything is correct, you will need to confirm the items being purchased using the pin pad on the card machine. Any foods not authorized by WIC can be put back or bought with another form of payment, such as your CalFresh card or other debit card. Also, check your WIC fruit and vegetable cash value benefit amount. If you go over your family amount, you can pay the difference using another form of payment or put something back. You will need to tell the cashier if you want to put something back before the cashier gives you the final receipt. Give the cashier your store loyalty card and any other coupons you may have. The cashier will complete the sale and give you a final receipt. The receipt will show the WIC foods you purchased and your remaining WIC food balance. The food balance includes the WIC foods and the amounts you have left. The receipt also will show the date your benefits expire. The expiration date is the last day you can get the rest of your WIC food benefits. Food benefits expire at midnight on that day. Keep this receipt and your WIC card. You will need them for your next shopping trip. Remember, the free WIC phone app and WIC shopping guide can help you choose foods your family likes. Taking care of your California WIC card and your PIN. It is important to take care of your WIC card. The magnetic stripe on the back of the card contains important information about your WIC benefits. Your card is reusable, so do not throw it away. Keep your card in a safe place, such as your wallet. Do not bend the card. Keep it away from direct sunlight and heat. Too much heat can damage the magnetic stripe on the back of your card. Also, keep your card away from items that can damage the magnetic stripe. These items include magnets, cell phones, TVs, and microwaves. It is equally important to be careful when using your PIN you will enter your PIN each time you use your WIC card at the store. You have four chances to enter your PIN correctly. After four tries, your card will be locked. You will not be able to get your WIC foods. Locking the card protects you from someone trying to guess your PIN and getting your food benefits. To unlock your card, call the phone number 1-844-4-MY-FAMILY on the back of your card or you can wait until after midnight for the PIN to reset. If you simply forget your PIN and want to change it, call the same number. How to get help with your California WIC card. The toll-free number 1-844-4-MY-FAMILY on the back of your WIC card is available to help you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It is a good idea to keep this phone number separate from your WIC card in case your card is lost or stolen. Call this phone number to report a lost, stolen or damaged card. Then contact your WIC office to get a new card. You will not lose your WIC benefits. You can also call this toll-free phone number when you have questions or problems with your PIN. Your WIC office can answer specific questions about your WIC benefits and shopping with your WIC card. If you have trouble buying any WIC foods that you think are authorized, 
check with your WIC office. The reason may be that your WIC food balance does not have the food item you were trying to get. Or, perhaps the specific size or brand of the food item is not WIC authorized. Contact your WIC office for help. The California WIC card makes shopping fast and easy. Families grow healthy with WIC. With your WIC card, you can receive a printout showing your WIC food balance. Here's an example. This printout lists all the foods available to you. Keep in mind the food balance will show the combined benefits for all active members in the family. It is important to note the dates you are able to purchase your WIC foods because more than one month of benefits may be included on this printout. So in this example, the first month of benefits are valid from March 28, 2020 to April 27, 2020. So the first day to purchase WIC foods is on March 28th and the last day to purchase these WIC foods is on April 27th. The second month of benefits are here, circled in orange. The first day to purchase the foods for month two is April 28, 2020, with a last date of use on May 27, 2020. A list of other ways to check your food balance are on page seven of the Welcome to WIC pamphlet. Out of the many ways to find your WIC food balance, we will focus on one of the easiest methods. And that is done through the California WIC app. The California WIC app allows you to see your next scheduled WIC appointment, check your food balance, locate local WIC offices, locate WIC authorized grocery stores, scan UPC barcodes to check if a food is WIC approved, and so much more. So if you have a smartphone, go to your phone's app store, search for the California WIC app, and download it for free. And always feel free to ask WIC staff to help you find, download, or learn about the WIC app features. Now that you know how to check your WIC food balance, how do you know which grocery stores accept the WIC card? Well, one way is to check on the California WIC family portal. This is at www.myfamily.wic.ca.gov. Simply click on the button that says stores accepting the WIC card and you'll see the list. You can also look for the WIC card and logo on the front window of a grocery store, or call the store you are planning to shop at. Now let's practice shopping for the WIC foods. Before going to the grocery store, we want to check the WIC food balance. We want to make sure all the items are available to purchase. And after checking the WIC food balance through the California WIC app, the WIC office printout, or the other methods, we can make a list of WIC items that we want to buy and then head to the grocery store. Uh, and here we are. Can you smell that fresh baked bread? Okay, let's focus on buying what we came here for and purchase some cheese. Usually, grocery stores have different types of cheese and not all of them are WIC authorized. So, we've decided to choose one of these two cheeses, grated cheddar in a 16 ounce bag, or a Colby Jack block of cheese, also 16 ounces. But which one of these are WIC authorized? We can check by looking at our WIC shopping guide, or maybe even an easier method, which is using the California WIC app. So instead of carrying around a shopping guide, you can use the WIC app's UPC barcode scanner. On the app's home screen, you can simply press the UPC scan button, and then the camera on the phone is able to scan barcodes of food items. So let's scan the grated cheddar cheese. Aha, the California WIC app informs us that this cheese is not authorized to purchase. Okay. Let's check the Colby Jack. 
Awesome. There it is. So the Colby Jack block cheese is a WIC authorized food. So the WIC app is telling me I can purchase this. Now it's time to check out. Instructions on checking out at the grocery store are also in your Welcome to WIC brochure on pages 10 and 11. So we were able to find all the items on our shopping list. And at the checkout counter, it is best to separate the WIC foods from any other foods being purchased. After checking out, you will receive a receipt of your WIC purchases. And here's an example of that receipt. Remember, each store will have slightly different receipts, but they will always have the three important areas to read over. First are the list of WIC foods that were purchased at that visit. Second is the expiration date. And the third area is the remaining WIC food benefits. This will tell you all the remaining foods that you have after each purchase. And that is it for shopping with the WIC card. So we're going to go over a few more things about the WIC program on this next video. Once your eligibility has been determined, you will be asked to sign a form that you have been advised of your rights and responsibilities as a participant in the WIC program. You will receive a copy of the form you sign if requested. The WIC staff will answer any questions you have at the end of this video. Now we will read the Rights and Responsibilities form that we will ask you to sign. Your Rights Fair Treatment Standards for eligibility and participation in the WIC program are the same for everyone regardless of race, color, national origin, age, handicap, or sex. If you are found ineligible for WIC, you will be given the reasons in writing and you will be advised of your rights to a fair hearing. You will receive WIC benefits, which you can use to supplement your monthly food budget with healthy foods. Helpful tips for a nutritious diet and breastfeeding. Information about other health services available, like healthcare and immunizations, including the locations for these services encouragement to use these tips and other services. Your responsibilities. Buy WIC authorized foods. It is important to use your WIC benefits every month. Use your WIC benefits at WIC authorized grocery stores. Bring your WIC card to the grocery store every time you shop for WIC foods. Buy only WIC authorized foods with your WIC benefits. Use the foods only for the person on the program. Be honest. Provide current and truthful eligibility information to WIC staff at all times. Promptly report any changes in your income, family size, address, and or phone number. Report any changes in your eligibility for Medi-Cal, CalWORKs, TANF, or CalFresh. Do not sell, trade, or attempt to sell or trade your WIC benefits, food, or infant formula in person, in print, or online. You may be disqualified for this type of violation. Be courteous. Keep your WIC appointments or call ahead when you need to reschedule. Bring all requested documents to all WIC appointments. Treat WIC staff and grocery store staff with courtesy and respect. Do not threaten or physically harm anybody in the WIC office or the grocery store. I understand. This certification form is being submitted in connection with the receipt of federal assistance. Program officials may verify information provided. I understand that intentionally making a false or misleading statement or intentionally misrepresenting, concealing, or withholding facts may result in paying the state agency in cash the value of the food benefits improperly issued to me and may subject me to civil or criminal prosecution under state and federal law. Dual participation, which means receiving benefits from more than one WIC office at a time, is illegal and can result in disqualification from WIC. 
If I am told that I am not eligible for WIC, I will be given the reasons in writing. I may appeal any decision made by the local WIC agency regarding my eligibility. I will receive 15 days notice if my certification is about to expire or if I am about to be terminated from the program. If I ask somebody else to substitute for me in a WIC-related activity, I will explain these rights and responsibilities to them. If I plan to move, I can transfer my WIC benefits, and my WIC local agency can help me with the paperwork. The WIC program does not discriminate. In accordance with federal civil rights law and U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, civil rights regulations and policies, the USDA, its agencies, offices and employees, and institutions participating in or administering USDA programs are prohibited from discriminating based on race, color, national origin, sex, disability, age, or reprisal or retaliation for prior civil rights activity in any program or activity conducted or funded by USDA. Persons with disabilities who require alternative means of communication for program information, for example, braille, large print, audio tape, American Sign Language, etc., should contact the state or local agency where they applied for benefits. Individuals who are deaf, hard of hearing, or have speech disabilities may contact USDA through the Federal Relay Service at 800-877-8339. Additionally, program information may be made available in languages other than English. To file a program complaint of discrimination, complete the USDA Program Discrimination Complaint Form, AD3027 found online at this web address and at any USDA office, or write a letter addressed to USDA and provide in the letter all of the information requested in the form. To request a copy of the complaint form, call 866-632-9992. Submit your completed form or letter to USDA by mailing it to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Office of the Assistant Secretary for Civil Rights, 1400 Independence Avenue Southwest, Washington, D.C., 20250-9410. You may fax it to 202-690-7442, or you may email program.intake at usda.gov. This institution is an equal opportunity provider. So far, we saw videos about the WIC services, the WIC authorized foods, how to use the WIC cards, and one last video about the rights and responsibilities. Then we practice shopping with the WIC card. Now let's learn about loading the food benefits onto the WIC card and the importance of keeping your WIC appointments. Loading the WIC foods onto your WIC card usually happens the day you come in. Here's an example. Let's pretend today is the ninth of the month. When you get your WIC benefits loaded today, this will be the first day you can use your food benefits. And these food benefits will last you around 30 days. So the last date to use the food benefits would be on the eighth of the next month. Your next set of benefits will then start on the 9th of next month and they will last for another 30 days. What you may notice is that your WIC food benefits do not have overlapping dates. Let's look at how loading food benefits can help you determine the next appointment date. We will use the previous example where you come in on the 9th of this month. The first day to use your WIC food benefits is on the 9th, and that will make the 8th of the next month the last day to use your WIC food benefits. Remember how WIC food benefits do not overlap? Well, for that reason, WIC staff will help you find a date for your next WIC appointment so that food benefits are continuously available to you. Let's say you missed your WIC appointment on the 9th, but you were able to come in on the 17th. 
So your WIC food benefits will be available to you on the 17th and will last until the 16th of the following month or roughly 30 days. So coming to WIC at your scheduled appointment helps limit the days you are without WIC food benefits. But don't worry about missing your next WIC appointment because you will get an appointment reminder card with the date, time, your name, family ID, and what to bring at your next appointment, as well as contact information for our office so you can call or text us your questions. And that concludes the video. Thank you very much for your time. Please let your WIC staff know that you're ready to complete your enrollment and welcome to WIC.